Now, Waipa Party leader Kalonzo Musioka has opposed the planned nationwide vaccination of cattle, terming it as heinous, planned by the government to introduce a genetically modified approach to harm Kenyans. Speaking at the party's command center in Nairobi, the former vice president claimed there was a plan to use Kenya as a testing ground for dangerous substances. Of uh, this genetically modified approach you can never plant the same seeds twice yeah you plant once and you have to wait <laughs> and uh, we went to court we instructed our learned uh, friend Paul Mwangi to go to court of that GMO thing of course last few days I think uh, uh, um, uh, took a negative decision we have instructed Paul Mwangi again to go on appeal because we must keep ourselves engaged on, on the welfare of our country. But with this uh, regime, I have absolutely no idea what is happening. Instead, they are abusing bishops. <laughs> they, 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 they are actually literally abusing bishops. Because if you also don't respect our spiritual fathers, where are you going to get blessings from? Wa Kenya was pochunga. Mutaanza kuona ngombe imezaliwa ikuwa na mikia miwiri. Kama waipa ya gari, moja pa day na igine pa day. Stoning the bishops or trying to kill the messenger will not change the message. We stand by the bishops, particularly Bishop Moheria who has been targeted. And we stand by the church, we stand by the truth. And we want to tell our colleagues in government that uh, what the bishops have said is what the Gen Z's said, is what the millennials said. Is what the opposition is saying. Is what the international community is saying. What the church said, if there are things that are true, we need to work on them. If there are things that are not true, we need to explain or express ourselves so that then we can have an understanding. Sometimes there's a lot of propaganda going around. And I want to plead with our people, and not just the church, also Kenyans. Don't just consume every information that you find on social media. Because some of this information is misleading. And you will take it and you will now judge, depending on what you are having. Let us consult each other. I want to say Kenya belongs to all of us.